Hi, my name is Stefan, but also known as Bro. I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. I go to Dartmouth South Academy. My favorite memory is in my Division I U12 season when North Preston Bulls was beating us the whole entire um, season. We in the playoff championship. We came to him with the W. I also my team on the, on the defensive end and the offensive end. Um, well, I've met him about uh, three years ago when he first started coming to the Y program. Um, I thought he was really skilled, um, but like any kid at that age, of course, they could all use work. Um, I think last year really kind of clicked in for me. I kind of got excited to see him because I knew he was going to be moving up to Division One this year, and he's been nothing but what a good player to have on my team this year. Bro, I think it's it, it's a full play, like it's a full defensive turning the offensive play. May it be him guarding his man and picking his pocket and going the other way for a nice move for a layup or grabbing a big rebound and taking it the full length of the court and, and getting us a nice look at the basket. He's really good in transition. So when he gets, so when he turns the ball over on defense, may it be rebounding or getting a steal or run a fast break, he makes really good decisions and he, he's really good in the transition game. I called him Stefan, which is his, his real name. Um, and then I realized all oh, the other kids were calling them bro, and I was like, why do they call you bro? And he just said, I don't know, they just call me bro. And it just kind of stuck with me. So since he's been on my team this year, I've just been calling them bro. My first impression uh, was I couldn't figure out um, which hand he likes to use. The fact that he can use both hands and actually shoot with both hands makes him really, really dangerous. Well, I think uh, Bro, you know, he he's playing against in this league in the NBA. We have some 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 really tall guy and some some older guys, and he's young. So I think his strength is definitely, you know, the way he adapts to the basket. Even though he knows that tall, like he's still trying to get to the hoop and, and get to the basket. So that's huge. You know, in terms of in terms of work, I think he has it. He loves the game, um, but you know, I think with him, he has a better understanding of what you're asking him to do. You know, oh man, and that's really key for him. Like he actually can look at you in the eye to eyes and taking in what you're asking him. Pretty much everything, my coach just told me to go out there, do what I can, um, pass the ball around, run an offense, run a play. Things I need to develop are my shooting because I, like I have a good stroke on my shot, but like sometimes it's a little off or sometimes it has a little too much strength or it comes up short. His left shot is, is really good. Um, the form is there, uh, the follow through is there, the right shot with the right hand, uh, that's where he needs a lot of work. Really slowing the game down a little bit. Because again, like I say, his strength is really the quickness and to go to the rim, I will. But sometimes he needs to he needs to know how to slow it down. And that's where he, he struggled with. Um, my season went good. Um, we watched a couple of games, but in the playoff championship, we put through them. Um, my, one of my best skills that I developed was my defense. I used to reach a lot, but I stopped reaching and I'm a better defender now. I put my hands up and like stand still, try to get a charge. I got better of keeping my feet on the ground, not fouling, and just being quick off my feet. Just keeping my teammates involved and making sure we have a good game. We count on Bro to do a lot of things for us. I mean, we have guys on our team who are, who are big men and guys on our team who are point guards. Um, but in our locker room, we ask Bro to do a little bit of everything. If we switch Bro onto the other team's best player because of his defensive ability. Sometimes he has to be the guy to inbound the ball to our point guard to make good passes. And sometimes we need to help him with the big guy boxing out and rebound him. So he does a little bit of everything. So it's really important that I'm kind of in his ear letting him know that we need that from him. He's really coachable. I mean, Bro is, you know, like, like I say, he, he likes to take in what you're saying. Um, you know, he's super emotional on the court, but once uh, you, you, you tell him to do something, he, try to do it. Uh, I mean, I would say, you know, for, for the coach that really, you know, super aggressive like me or, you know, really intense on the court, um, bro really, really strive of that. I mean, he feeds off their energy. Um, I'll listen to what they're saying and, like, take that on the court, see if I, what I can do with it. And if I mess up, then I'll keep on trying. He's very coachable. Um, there have been times this year when I've really, really got on him. And, you know, and, and I credit his parents as well for allowing me to do so. You know, there's been times where I've really, really got into him. Um, and he just took it with strides and he's learned. And uh, those mistakes have really, have really been non-existent, especially coming playoff time and the start of provincials. I think they're getting a very coachable player, a kid who likes to listen, a kid who asks questions when he doesn't understand. He's been a kid this year. He's a kid who, who 
He has a good body for his age, a good frame for his age. He can jump, he can run. He's one of our faster kids, he's one of our higher jumping kids. And I'm sure he's going to grow to be a little bit bigger as well. So um, I think they're getting a, a, a very good player in the future. For high school, I'd like to go to a prep school like Kelly Prep because they have a lot of good players there. They're probably still going to have good players there when I go. I'll try to go to a good school, like just a good school that has good education so I can go to the next level of like I want to go to North Carolina because they have really good a sports environment and very good education. The 11 now, so of course he's going to have to work on his game in order to get to the next level. He needs some growth, but I mean, the sky's the limit. Uh, Phantom, then Midget, then prep school or high school or university. I could definitely see Bro um, playing in those leagues and divisions in the future. I don't think um, NCAA will be out of out of his reach. Um, again, if he keeps, you know, progressing, uh, that's the main main thing. Um, yeah, I can definitely see him in the U.S. Um, CIS. Um, you know, Y9 and NCAA. Um, he has the potential. Um, you know, again, comes with the grades.